In this example, we will demonstrate an Android application which converts the temperature in different measuring scales. We will then show how to create similar applications using Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and Windows Phone 7 developer tools. Let's navigate to the pre-created temperature converter Android application and run it. The emulator simply shows the options to enter temperature values. Use the keypad at the right hand side to enter the value. Select Celsius and enter 31 and click the convert button. This will convert the value correspondingly to Fahrenheit and Kelvin. In this way, the application converts one measuring scale to multiple measuring scales, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. This application mainly consists of a main.xml file which is used to design layout either by writing the code or designing in the layout window. The layout in this application consists of edit text, radio button, and a button. In the code behind the file, the convert method is called on button click. This method consists of the logic used to convert different measuring scales. Now before moving towards developing a similar Windows Phone 7 application, we will discuss a few direct transitions from Android to a Windows Phone 7 application. Android developers use layout, as in main.xml, which is equivalent to WP7's page in mainpage.xaml. The Windows Phone 7 UI elements are used much of the same way as widgets are in Android. Listeners in Android are similar to the click event handlers in Windows Phone 7. Based on these descriptions, one can easily migrate his or her Android application to a Windows Phone 7 application. Now, let's create the similar temperature converter application for Windows Phone 7 using Visual Studio 2010. Here, we have already created the user interface of the temperature converter application, which is similar to the Android application user interface. The user interface consists of one grid of which the background is set to the sun cloud image existing in the solution. This grid includes text box, radio button, and a button. This is the same as specifying the elements in the main.xml of the Android application. On the click event of the button, the temperature conversion takes place to the corresponding scales. Now let's navigate to the code behind the file. Add an enum to the class with several options of temperature conversions. Next, declare a variable of this enum with a default value none. Now let's handle the convert button click. It checks if the Fahrenheit radio button is checked, then it calls the convert method with the value passed and respective other enum values, Fahrenheit to Celsius and Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Similarly, other cases are handled and respective enum values are used. Now define the convert method. It uses the standard formulas for temperature conversions and returns the resultant values. Now, run the application. Now, let's click on the Celsius radio button and type the value 45 in it. Click on the convert button to see the result. The converted values are placed in the resultant text boxes respectively. The above sample shows the development of a similar application in Android and Windows Phone 7. Windows Phone 7 is a much smoother and simpler development experience. While both of them share several common functionalities, it is easier to migrate to Windows Phone 7 and develop applications on it. Thank you for your time today and I hope you enjoyed watching the video.